ஆசம் அக்லேஷிய கார்டியா அண்ட் ஆல் ஜிஆர்டி அக்லேஷிய கார்டியா ஆல் திஸ் ஆர் சர்ஜரி டாபிக்ஸ் தட்ஸ் ஐ எம் நாட் கோயிங் இன் டு டீடெயில் தட் இஸ் கிவ் மோர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் டு மெடிசினல் டோ மெடிசின் டாபிக் ஓகே நவு நெக்ஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் பிகாஸ் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த டைம் வி கெட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் வாட் ஜிஐ கேசஸ் பட் வி ஃபர்கெட் டு கிவ் ஃபார் டி வேரியஸ் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் லைக் வி ஓன்லி நோ என்டோஸ்கோபி பட் வை இட் இஸ் என்டோஸ்கோபி வாட் இஸ் அப்பர் கேஸ்ட்ரெண்டஸ் என்டோஸ்கோபி அண்ட் திங்ஸ் லைக் கேப்சூல் என்டோஸ்கோபி கொலோனோஸ்கோபி சம்டைம்ஸ் in certain patient they cannot bear the endoscopy it is sometimes it is very painful procedure also so it's for them you can advise capsule endoscopy which is not at all painful and which is an easy procedure the thing is it is bit costly and there is colonoscopy double balloon endoscopy etc so this is endoscopy what is this this is upper g endoscopy this is colonoscopy and this is called as capsule balloon endoscopy and this is balloon endoscopy okay now i'll tell you where and all this investigation is advice which is very very important okay so first and foremost thing which i told you is gastrointestinal endoscopy right so gastrointestinal endoscopy includes upper endoscopy okay upper endoscopy is also referred as esophageo esophageo gastro duodenoscopy so any pathology that is confined to esophagus that is confined to gastric area or stomach duodenum can be visualized through this method okay so the procedure is the best method for examining the upper gi mucosa upper gi mucosa is best examined through this procedure so upper gi mucosa is examined through this proceed see we always skip this topic see that this is very important please listen properly and it will be helpful for your practice also for your um, i mean now not only for your exam for your patients when you see any cases of uh, this um, git i mean gastric conditions if you want if you wanted to give for any investigation if you are thorough with this it would be helpful okay so esophageo gastroduodenoscopy is represented like this okay the short form is egd is superior for detection of gastric ulcers and flat mucosal lesions such as barrett esophagus so barrett esophagus is nothing but what metaplasia right metaplasia so the lower esophageal part or oh, is lined with what which epithelium it is squamous epithelium so squamous epithelium is converted into columnar epithelium so it is known as columnar metaplasia okay so whenever you say metaplasia it is a conversion of one type of cell into another cell and when you are representing a condition as columnar metaplasia you have to see which cell is being replaced not the cell that is present initially okay so the replaced cell the cell which is present presently is to be added for the metaplasia okay not the cell that is that was already there so columnar metaplasia is barrett esophagus so this is a superior investigation okay now upper gastrointestinal endoscopy or this one esophageal gastroduodenoscopy is indicated in a face person with dyspepsia means deranged digestion right who is more than 55 years age with some alarming symptoms alarming symptoms include what weight loss then hematemesis or uh, progressive dysphagia along with dyspepsic features okay then atypical chest pain atypical chest pain hmm? this is another thing that is an indication for egd then again dysphagia progressive dysphagia then weight loss unexplained weight loss okay and person and this person who is not responding for any medicine acute or chronic gi bleeding hmm? then suspicious barium meal there if you find any suspicious finding in barium meal then also this is being indicated so these are the most important thing that you should remember see all this i have taken from harrison this is very very important okay now coming to next thing next investigation one second so i so now we are done with upper gi endoscopy okay upper gi gastrointestinal endoscopy this both same now next one is 
yeah one more thing this is contraindicated in cases with severe shock if the person has severe shock this is con contraindicated and in recent mi and uh, severe respiratory disease also this is contraindicated possible visceral perforation in such condition is also this is contraindicated and complications every most of the time this endoscopy is a tough procedure right they have com complication obviously so cardio respiratory depression due to sometimes the patient may give sedation also hmm? and aspiration pneumonia perforation so these are the complications so coming to the colonoscopy colonoscopy you know it is very uh, rarely done procedure Okay. unless until it is indicated so suspected inflammatory bowel diseases inflammatory bowel disease is very important topic in your surgery you have to read well so Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis is the thing that comes in inflammatory bowel disease then chronic diarrhea the person is having unexplained chronic diarrhea then altered bowel habits altered bowel habits along with some alarming syndrome okay if the person is coming only with altered bowel habits it doesn't mean that you have to send them for colonoscopy you have to rule out whether he has any other condition that is alarming otherwise just the person if a person is coming with altered bowel habits with constipation is alternative diarrhea he may be a person of IBS in irritable bowel syndrome okay and rectal bleeding along with rectal bleeding with anorexia again this one also you have to rule out hemorrhoids you have to rule out hemorrhoid first and foremost thing you have to rule out is hemorrhoids then any fissures has to be ruled out then inflammatory bowel disease also to be ruled out if inflammatory bowel disease is that severe then then you can advise for colonoscopy then colorectal ca screen for screen colorectal ca you can advise colonoscopy for it. This also, there should be obvious symptoms, which is pointing towards colorectal CA. Next one is double uh, balloon endoscopy. Double balloon endoscopy is diagnostic. It is done if in diagnostic case or diagnostic procedure, in case of obscure GI bleeding. Obscure GI bleeding, then you can think this. Then malabsorption, in malabsorption also you have to see this one then unexplained suspicious diarrhea then suspected small bowel uh, suspected small bowel syndromes or any uh, symptoms that is confined to small bowel pathology and it is also done as a therapeutic procedure in any coagulation disorder jejunostomy any after jejunostomy okay yeah so this is the these are the important muscular investigation in git okay so endoscopy upper endoscopy is also known as upper gastro intestinal endoscopy then uh, yeah it is also and it is also known as esophageal gastro duodenoscopy then you have colonoscopy and you have capsule endoscopy so capsule endoscopy is how it is then see a capsule is filled with a disposable mini video camera can examine parts of small intestine that standard scopes can can't reach for diagnosing unexplained bleeding or other abnormalities oh, okay so the video data is transmitted and stored in the record worn on a belt and is later downloaded to computer that doctor can study okay so the procedure fasting necessary prior to swallowing so this procedure and all is not important just i, I just mentioned that's it so indication is important again the obscure gi bleeding small bubble Crohn's disease assessment of cardiac diseases okay i mean celiac diseases for assessing celiac diseases also capsule endoscopy is done yeah then next one is double balloon endoscopy i told you that we have seen see this is how the procedure double balloon endoscopy supplicated small intestine this is how the balloon double balloon is introduced okay so with this we we have done almost uh, most of the important investigation in uh, GI.